You will learn how you can run an LLM model like DeepSeek within Azure Container Apps. To do that, we'll go to the Azure portal, create a new Azure Container Apps by clicking Create right here. Then from this template, we specify the Azure subscription, a resource group, the name of the Container Apps. Let's just name it DeepSeek right here. And then we specify that we want to run a container inside this Container Apps. Then we choose the region where your Container Apps will be deployed. And then you choose the environment. If you don't have one, you can go just to create a new one. That's what I'm going to do here. Call it ACA Environment Demo, for example, and then keep all the rest of the configurations by default. Hit Create and then move to the next part here, which is configuring the container that will run inside this container apps. This container that will run today will be publicly available in GitHub Container Registry. So instead of Docker Hub here, we'll go to use ghcr.io. And the image is Open Web UI the Olama tag. This image actually will run a web app and inside that web app, we can go to download any LLM model available within Hugging Face and then running ins run it inside our container. Let's continue with that uh, configuration. And next here, we should choose the compute power that will run this container apps. So running LLM models typically requires lots of compute capacity like CPU, memory, or GPU if you want to. So what you can do in Azure here in Container Apps is that either you choose the simplest option, which I will choose here, which is running the consumption mode, which is the least expensive, but you have other options like specifying GPU. So if you have access to that, then you can just enable it. And here you get a GPU and that will enhance dramatically the performance of your LLM. Another option you have is that you can go to specify the CPU, the right amount of CPU and memory to be allocated for your container uh, running. So here I choose the biggest available for the consumption mode, which is four CPU and eight gigabytes of memory. Actually, you can get even more than this. If you choose workload profiles within your container app environment, you can go up to 256 gigabytes of memory. This is enough for me today. I'll go next for the ingress. I'll go to enable ingress so that I can access that LLM through the web app that will be exposed through Open Web UI. That web app actually will be exposed on port 8080. So I enable that and then I'll go to review and create. Hit create once the template is validated. Once all the resources are created successfully, we can go to the resource group and then access my container apps. Where here I can see the application URL, so I'll open this into my browser. And here to launch the web app to connect to Open Web UI, where here I should provide some information and then I can create the admin account. And then if I skip this window right here, now I have access to Open Web UI that will enable me to chat with the LLM model. But here in this freshly con created container, I don't have yet an LLM model. So I go to create or download a new LLM model and run it inside this container. So to do that, I just need to search for the name of one of the LLM models. You can find those within the Hugging Face interface. So you can just choose one of the uh, models available uh, right here. Let's, con let's continue with the model DeepSeek R1, for example. Let's search for that and let's search for the model that have 7 billion parameters. So here, I can go to pull that image into this container It will start the download. And then here it tells me that it was the succeeded uh, downloaded successfully. Great. Now, once the model is ready, I can just select it from this list and then I can chat with this LLM model. Let's try to ask it, how are you? And here it's responding to me. Hi, I'm DeepSeek R1 created by DeepSeek company. And that was how you can run DeepSeek within Azure Container Apps. Thank you.